Hey guys, it's Chloe. What's up? How is everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup look as seen. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to sort of show you step by step how I do my everyday makeup, uh, like how I wear it if I don't really have anything to do, or like how I'd wear it if I was going to school. I'm just showing you how I do it because you guys have requested to see how I do my everyday makeup. Yeah, let's get started. This is me, natural. So first I'm taking my CeraVe moisturizing lotion and I just put like half a pump left in and just kind of rub it all around so my face isn't dry while I'm doing my makeup. That was too much. Okay. Sorry, I'm really close so you get to see me. Or natural and close up. I always have a towel just in case I mess up like I can just easily wipe it off because I don't like to use makeup wipes when I'm doing my makeup. I know that sounds weird but unless like I really mess up I don't use any because like I'm afraid it's gonna take off too much makeup. Oh yeah you can you can see my scar if you want. I think you can see it. Yeah so that was from when I had surgery. That was this is a scar from the third one and then this is the scar from the second surgery because it was in my eye, so. Next, I'm taking my NYX coverage concealer thing. I don't know if you can see it. Thanks. Anyways, um, it comes out really fast and it's like, it's a lot, so I only like try to put on a really small amount. So I put it on my finger and then Just sort of put it under my eyes. And I try not to do just like a straight line. It doesn't look that good. And I'm just taking my beauty blender sponge thing, whatever it is, and blending. This way I can cover up my bags. My s because I'm tired. <laughs> oh god, what is that? By the way, um, ignore my paleness. It's really tragic. So, now I'm taking my coverage again and just putting it all, dab it, <laughs> on my pimples. Now, I'm taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. It's Y235. That's my color for now because, in my defense, it's been cold and no sun. I do use a darker shade in the summer, though. But I just put two pumps on and take my beauty blender again and just sort of put it all over. And I try to like get a little bit down here, not just like here, because I used to do that and it was like really bad because it would just be like a straight line of like my real color and then like the foundation I use. So I always try to go a little bit like to here just so it doesn't look so unnatural. Foundation is done. Now I'm going to take a, uh, another NYX brush and my Studio Mac Fix, it's NW22, and just put it on. Now I'm all done with foundation. Next I am going to take my Smashbox contour palette and it just has three like colors. Highlight, bronze, and contour. And I'm going to take my brush. I don't. It's from Sephora. I don't really know. I just look for a contour brush. I normally listen to music when I'm <clears throat> doing my makeup. I'm sure a lot of people do, but I like kind of can't right now because then you wouldn't be able to hear me. So I'm not. So I just put it like right here. And by the way, disclaimer, I'm no makeup artist, so if I do something that like you're not supposed to do with makeup or like I'm not good at it, I apologize. And then I just sort of like get some on the side. Nose. And then just a little bit on my forehead. This is still contour. 
Now I'm going to take this brush. It's like an elf. It's from Elf, and just do my highlight. do in between the nose and under the eye and up here now I'm going to take a Vita Liberata I don't really know how I say that just like a brush and blend it Sometimes I do it a little bit darker, but normally I feel like every day looks you just I just normally blend it a lot because I don't want it to be like too much. Gotta stay a little, little bit natural. Contour is done. Now I'm going to take my MAC 109 brush. My MAC Dame, the color is Dame. That's my blush and just put some just to give some color. See, I kind of do my makeup in a really weird order because now I do lipstick. And I'm using Lorac Pro. The color is rose something. I don't know. I really like this color because, I don't know, I just like it a lot. Now I'm going to take my NYX brush again, just brush up, and I'm sort of trying to grow out my eyebrows right now because for a long time I was like really obsessed with like plucking them all the time, I don't really know why, I just like every day I would do my makeup like I'd pluck just a little bit, so now I'm trying to grow them out. So. So now I'm just going to take this palette. I don't really know what color I use because it's like one that you sort of make your own at MAC, but it's from MAC. It's just like a light brown and I don't really like to fill in a lot. It just sort of is necessary. It's a real struggle because this eyebrow is like, it normally cooperates and normally looks like real good, like on fleek. And then this one is always just like kind of sad that like you have to like try your best to make it look good but it just like it looks alright. If only both eyebrows looked like this one. Now I just kind of brushed through. Now I'm going to take, I feel like one of those like baby dolls or clowns that have like super white faces with like the really rosy cheeks and the lips but like nothing else. That's what I feel like right now just so everyone knows. Now I take Lord and Berry, um, it's just like a black eyeliner. It's number 221 and I just do like a really light eyeliner. I don't really do it super dark for every day. Like I said, I don't like it to be super dark and I sort of really blend it at the top. Done with eyeliner. Now, um, <clears throat> whenever I like to do like more makeup for every day, I'll do like obviously eyeshadow. My eyes don't look like the greatest and like my eyeliner is kind of smudgy but I do that on purpose whenever I don't want to wear a lot of makeup just so it's like not like perfect. It just kind of like gives me color but it's not a lot of makeup. So now I'm going to take my eyelash curler and since I just had surgery um, my eyes still kind of swollen which is weird because it normally doesn't take that long to heal but it is. So I only curl one eyelash. One eye for now just so that it sort of evens them out but whenever it's normal I curl both eyelashes just letting you know okay so time for mascara 
Um, I use Voluminous Million Lashes. I don't know where it's from, TBH. Actually, someone gave it to me, and I just started using it again recently. And I really like it, so... And make sure that you get mascara in the corners of your eye because I've learned that if you get them in like in this corner and in this corner a lot that it makes your eye eyes look bigger and your eyelashes look longer. Once that done. And I was blessed with really cool eyelashes because they can get really long. The last thing that I normally do is, even though I put on my like lipstick earlier, I just like to put on a little bit of lip gloss. And this is Lorac Ultra Ego Lip Gloss. That's all it really says. Supermodel. That's the kind. And... I just put a little bit on, um, if I go want like a matte look, then I don't put any on, but if I want sort of like a glossy look, then obviously I put that on. So that is my everyday makeup. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I will be posting more makeup videos soon, makeup tutorial videos soon. In the comment section below, tell me what makeup tutorials you want to see me do, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!